one of the new things uh, that we can do now is actually put ourselves at the position of the camera head and look around. And we do that using walkthrough. So if I turn on walkthrough mode and I choose, turn on my camera position, walkthrough is only really useful if you then tell it where the camera should be. And so what this allows me to do is choose that little coordinate system that was created um, at the center of the scan. And then I can put myself there, and I can actually look around inside this church as if I was standing right behind the scanner. That's as if I was on the tripod myself looking around and seeing what the scanner saw. So, in fact, you can see the pews in the church. You can see the, uh, the great stained glass windows. You can zoom out a little bit. And that kind of helps. The perspective will get a little, a little skewed, but it allows you to kind of, uh, you're not moving backwards. You're just kind of changing the focal length. You can see that it was about 6.03 when this scan was taken. You can even see the uh, hymnals here on the pew. So that kind of perspective is something you can't see from the outside looking in. So the walkthrough mode also allows you to move throughout the scene. Uh, you'll see keystrokes at the bottom, W, F, A, D, Q, and E. These are different ways to move up, move down, move forward, and move left and right. Just as if, if you had a scan of a factory or a cave and you want to move through that, you can do that right now with this walkthrough mode. And it's nice, too, because you'll notice that as I move, we're dynamically sampling the points uh, uh, so that as you move, you're not seeing the full data, and when you stop, it refreshes. And you, and you can turn that on or off. It's just that's one of the default characteristics of it.